Becoming Financially Empowered with the United Way. Hello and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Candace Kelly and I'm joined by Herbert Klein. He is president and CEO of the United Way of Mercer County. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me, Candace. So the Financial Empowerment Center, it's been around for a couple of years, but you recently expanded in order to try to help students who are moving into college. Tell me a little bit about that expansion. Sure. Well, our first year we just did taxes through the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. Last year we added financial education and this year we're adding completion of the FAFSA form which is quite daunting to parents. Yes, very complicated. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it is but it's not and, and we've added that service as well and we had outreach to many libraries in the area as well as the high schools to help students, particularly with families making under $50,000 a year, to complete both their tax return and their federal student aid form so that they can apply for aid and loans. So what's the process if somebody does want help, if they walk into your door, how is it that they get assistance and how do you, you know, let them know what you can do for them? Sure, well when somebody walks in, we have many bulletin boards that post what the services are, but the primary vehicle is the interview, where a counselor will sit down with a client and talk to them about what their needs are. And they may come in and say, we need our taxes done. And we'll ask, do you have students that are in college or approaching college age? And if they say yes, we'll ask them, do you need to have your financial aid forms done as well? And we do it as a free service. No one should ever pay to have that service done. And then we walk them through the process. And in the case of the financial aid that we're adding this year, each student and their parent sits down with a counselor and they do it together. Mm. So they get all the information in at the same time. And you know, that's a really good way to do it because it comes up again and you have to go through the process and everybody should be on the same page. It sounds like from what you're telling me, you be get people to come in and they may come in for one thing, but if you interview them, you let them know about other ways that they can be helped. Absolutely, and you brought up a very important point, Candace. You have to do this every year and your financial circumstances change every year. So it's very important to fill out that form every year. You might be eligible for aid that you didn't or weren't eligible for the year before. Right, so you have to check it out and make sure you get that money because it, it does cost so much to go to college these days, my goodness. It does, but there's <laughs> plenty of aid programs available both in loans and in grants. And the thing that all students have to remember is any aid program requires that the form be filled out. So that's the starting point. The, the, the best advice I can give parents is Start early mm -hmm. and aim high. Don't assume because a college is expensive that your student can't go there. The more expensive colleges tend to have larger endowments and they might have aid available to them that they don't know about. All right, well that is good news. You also mentioned that you give free tax preparation for families earning under $50,000. Um, I'm, you know, Tax season is going to be coming up. It starts normally around February, people really get in that mode, mm -hmm. but people also should know that you have classes. Tell me a little bit about the classes that you offer to empower people. Yes, we offer a 12 module financial education series of classes in conjunction with Strayer University and our offices. And those classes are designed to help people with basic financial planning, basic budgeting, basic um, needs when it comes to planning for the future. And those are designed around individuals who may have some debt problems, may have difficulties living paycheck to paycheck, to help them learn how not to do that. And the first piece is certainly the VITA piece, which is the tax return piece. Mm -hmm. But what you do with that money afterwards can make a huge difference for your family for the rest of the year. Absolutely, because it, you get that big chunk and it seems like so much until you start doling it out and realize, ooh, that wasn't that much, and then it's gone. And then it's gone. But that, that return money, which it, for earned income tax credit is really a um, return of FICA, can make a huge difference to your manage properly. All right, well, thank you for being with us. Hopefully you'll get more folks to come out and be financially empowered. Good to see you. Thank you for the opportunity. And I'm Candace Kelly for Comcast Newsmakers. Thanks for watching.